Welcome to the second video of the Groundwater Lesson Series. My name is Liam. I hope you scientists are ready to get started. To recap what you've already learned, what is the special force that moves down through these earth material tubes? You got it! Gravity! We know gravity pulls the water down, but how does the water move through the tubes? Correct! Water is moving through the spaces between Earth's materials. Let's keep all these important ideas in mind during this video. Now, let's take what we've learned and explore the groundwater system. First, we need to figure out what it looks like underground. Do you have any ideas how we could look at what's going on underground? That's right, we could dig. And if we wanted to see very deep, we can use machines, like a drill rig. What is a model? Yes, a model is a representation of a real thing. This model represents groundwater system beneath us, miles and miles across the land surface and hundreds of feet deep. If we sunk down into the ground hundreds of feet and had a big light, this is what it would look like. Now, what do you see in this model? That's it. Gravel like we saw before and sand. What else do you see in the model? You might see these tubes. They represent wells that give us access to water hundreds of feet down underground. Did you know there are two kinds of wells? Observation wells help us see what's happening underground. And pumping wells, like these, with the rectangle at the bottom, help us get water out. Later, we will be able to see how pumping wells work when we add water into our system. Now, let's experiment. So, what is groundwater? Correct, water in the ground. Where does groundwater come from? Rain. And where does it rain most here in Arizona? It rains most in the mountains. Sometimes it even snows up here, creating snowpack. Now, let's make it rain in our model. When snowpack melts, or it rains in the mountains, water seeps into the crack underground. See this column of water? There are holes here that allow the water to move into the groundwater system. See how the recharge bottle keeps bubbling? Water is continuing to move into the system. So, where is the groundwater? What are you observing? Yes, it's underground, but where underground? Remember our experiment with the earth material tubes? Is the water being absorbed, or is it in the spaces between the earth materials? Can you see the water in the spaces between the sand and the gravel? It's hard to. What color is groundwater? It's clear, so it's really hard to see. But if we remember our experiment, the water must be in spaces between earth materials. It's not a big lake down there. Groundwater is in the spaces between earth materials. How did the water get into the spaces? Let's find out. Let's put some green dye in this well. Make a prediction about what you think will happen to the green dye. While you make your prediction, I'm going to draw a circle around this green dye blob. What is happening to the green dye? You say it's spreading? Is it spreading in all directions? No, it's moving this way, right? Was that what you predicted? Why is that happening? What did this bottle represent again? That's right, rain up high in the mountains. Now, let's look miles and miles away from the mountains to the other side of the model. 
What is over here on the other side? Yes, it's water coming out of the model here. Is it higher or lower than the water up in the mountains? It's lower. So, what's happening to the groundwater once it's in the ground? It's moving from high to down low. Why? Because gravity works below ground, just like it works above ground. Ah! Think about it. Makes sense, right, scientists? The green die moved down from the high point and to the right towards the lower areas through spaces between sand and gravel due to gravity. Why should we care about this groundwater? Do you think we use this groundwater? You're so smart. We use a lot of groundwater every day in Arizona. How do we access this water? Think back to the wells we talked about earlier. We can access groundwater by using wells to pump it out. Let's see how we can pump water out of the ground. I'm going to use my pumping well. It's the one with the rectangle. What are you observing? Is the water leaving the model and going with the pump? Arizona gets a big part of their water supply from the groundwater system, so it is very important to us. Screens and filter packs built into pumping wells keep soil out of the water, so the water we pump out is clean. Did you take a shower today? Did you brush your teeth? Did you have a glass of water? Well, if so, a lot of that water came from the underground system. Look at how much water we got into this bottle. So, what did we learn today? Groundwater is in the spaces between earth materials. Groundwater moves from higher to lower areas. We pump water from the ground using wells because it's part of our water supply. Wow, scientists, we've learned a lot about a system that most people know nothing about. Maybe you should go and tell someone you know what you've learned today. All right, scientists, do you want to see a three-dimensional model of our groundwater system? Yay! Come watch our next video to learn more. You're so smart.